I have hit the go live button. Uh, should be live. I just need to send out a link for people. I should have gotten water, but um. I'll go do that real quick. <clears throat> Honey, go get water. I will. I I've, I already hit go live though, so I need to put out the notification. <laughs> oh, and Magic Man is open to fighting the Tau Commander list. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Kelly, you didn't see the damage that was able to do. Hey, Dragon Spartan. Uh, uh, I'm gonna be just a minute. I need to get water. Kelly keeps it so, entertained. So yeah, so because um, because uh, Z taught me kill team, I wanted to in exchange teach her Yu-Gi-Oh. So that's what we're doing tonight. Uh, I built her a Salamangrate list, which is very basic, uh, very simple, and. I'm playing a deck that is bad, but will probably still beat her because Salamigrate's also bad right now. <laughs> uh, but I hope that it will be entertaining for y'all. Uh, yeah. I don't know if she muted herself on stream or not, but... I don't know why I've had like a runny nose all week. Some like allergies, but... I have my headphones Oh, Chris, this is... This is gonna be a disaster, Chris. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, no. It's not gonna be fun. <laughs> uh, hey, Dragon so... Spartan. Hey, Grey. Hey, the Empire. <laughs> hey, Chris. Uh, I'm about to get my ass kicked. Uh, so go Gray, I'm to... about to get my ass kicked worse than I kicked yours last night. <laughs> so go to servers, and you want uh go to e uh go to US West Casual, and then um there there are some check boxes in the middle. You want to click show show locked rooms, and you should find me somewhere. Uh, the purple pancake. And I sent you the password. You did. I don't remember it. Let me double check. Oh. <laughs> hey. You so, yeah, so... fucking dork. <laughs> I love you. So, yeah, so when you're ready, just click the check mark next to your name. I just want to make sure. Yep. Okay. So, official Yu Gi Oh! rules is you decide who goes first with rock, paper, scissors. I remember no that one... much because every version of the Yu Gi Oh! video games I've played has had rock paper scissors no one does this in real life but it's how every single simulator does it so <sighs> okay uh you I, pick I, first because I you did, can I see did, what i, I picked i did pick first okay hey you want to go first cool hey jim jim uh how uh, does does your girlfriend still think you're a furry <laughs> Uh, honey, I'm sorry. I opened kind of broken. Um, anyway, so do you want me to walk you through the combo? Or do you want uh, to see if you can do it yourself? I'm going to see if I can remember it. It was... Okay, um, this is actually going to be a slightly weaker version of the combo. Yes. So, yeah. I assume so. So I still want to have... start yeah. with Lady Debug, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. I'm trying to click and drag because I've... I keep feeling like I'm... I keep thinking, okay, I'm going to play this like Arena. No. Uh, <laughs> normal summon. Yep. I would like to activate its effect. Okay, um, I'm gonna be nice and not negate the effect. Because <laughs> I could if I wanted. You, do you also Wait, don't want to Did she effect. actually get cat ears, Jim? Oh my god. <laughs> Um, uh, by the I... way, if you were to, if you were to activate Ash Blossom right Ash Blossom right now, you'd negate your own effect. So don't do that. <laughs> I have accidentally done that when I used to play the GBA games. 
<laughs> on more than one occasion. Oh my god. Uh, what, I want, what do you want to search here? I want Don't to, search Benny. I know. I want to search Gazelle, right? Yes, because Gazelle's the most important card. Yes. Okay. Now... Now, you don't have sign at mining in this hand, which means you can't send a Salamangrate card from your hand to the grave. But how can you send one from the field to the field to the grave? Right, you're not just allowed to do that. Okay. Um, do I have a trap that can do that? Or do I... Wait. What, add a card. What, what can, uh, send a card from the deck to the graveyard. Uh, Ash can. Ash negates effects that does that. Oh. So, what can you make with Lady Debug? Nothing. Remember, Wait. what's the what's the whole goal of Salamangre? You want to special summon Link monsters, right? Right. Okay, so I do have a Link one. I just, I have a bunch of Link ones. Okay, I can make Bay Links. Wanna... Yep. Then that there. Yes. I will also not negate this because I'm being nice. <laughs> Thank you. I don't want to do that. Uh, okay. So I want to grab that. Okay. Now, how uh, can you send that Bailing to Grave? Uh, let's see. So you, if you read Bailing, you can you can see that it requires a level four or lower Cybers monster. But Link monsters don't have levels, so you can't use Bay Links for Bay Links. Okay. But you actually can if you do something else first. What is it? Uh. What is the, what does the field spell let you do again? Oh, right. It lets me summon a. It lets me use a Link monster as material for for itself. So I want to activate it. And now you can and use Bailing for Bailing. Bailing, okay. Which do I want to chain Gazelle? You, I... you want Gazelle? Gazelle? If you special summon Gazelle, that's a free monster on the field. Yes. So yes. Now, in this case, because you're missing an extender, you want to send Jack Jaguar to grave. I'm going to pretend I understand what that means and go along. Yeah. So, um, you aren't able to make a Sunlight Wolf with a Sunlight Wolf because you already used Sanctuary to make a Bailings with a Bailings. Okay. And, that's and you can only do that once per turn. So now with with the gazelle and the Bailinx, you want to make a something like now. And then ba and then Sunlight Wolf brings back. In order for Sunlight Wolf to bring something back, you have to special something to a zone it points to. Uh, yes. I recommend you read Jack Jaguar. It's in your grave now, or actually, there's one in your hand too. Salamangre was sent to your monster. Ex oh wait, no, that's Gazelle. Uh, it, if this card attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing damage. If you control a Salamangre Link monster while this card is in your graveyard, you can special summon one monster in your graveyard except for it. Well, you can target a. Oh, you can. You can I target, can target except yeah. for it. Shuffle it back in. So this seems to think. Uh, target Phalanx, by the way, because you don't want to shuffle back your Gazelle because you want to add Gazelle back. Right. Okay, I'm also going to not negate that because I'm nice. And remember to summon to the zone it points to. Yep. Oh, you have to, actually. Never mind. Okay, actually I just realized my hand is garbage, <laughs> so I will negate this. <laughs> okay. Because
because otherwise I have no chance. <laughs> then I can special summon a Sunlight Wolf with a Sunlight Wolf, right? Because you have the two monsters needed. And you want to do that because you have the Rage in hand already. Yes. And now you want to set both of your trap cards and end your turn. I have no idea what I'm doing. My hand got worse. <laughs> okay. Now you don't know what I'm playing. If I was mean, I would tell you to activate rage right now. <laughs> because that destroys cards and you have something that does things when it's destroyed? Yes. <laughs> Although... <laughs> There is one other issue because actually one of my cards actually does win the game for me. <laughs> actually, it doesn't win the game for you, it just makes you lose the game. So, uh, end phase. Do you want to activate anything? Oh, oh, I just realized something. Uh, um... in the top, in the top left, uh, click always chain. Okay. Because otherwise, otherwise it'll you, skip you... all the phases. Yeah. Otherwise, it, it will tell you not will not let you activate anything. Although th this just makes it kind of annoying. Um, you can also just have always chain on by holding down left click anywhere that doesn't have something to normally click on. Okay. It's a it's it, uh, this is just Edo Pro stuff. It's kind of stupid, honestly. Okay. But uh, also, hey Varen, and um, I'm hesitant to call Edo Pro fun yet. Edo Pro is kind of garbage, honestly, but it's... It was easier to stream than any other. It's easier than streaming a browser window. So you... you Oh my god, you drew Foxy for turn. Oh, normal summon Foxy to the zone sunlight wolf points too, and you just win. Oh. Potentially. So is trigger effect, what is it? So both Normal, Foxy I'm, and... I, I, oh. I, I was going to read Actually, it. You can well, act... I... So can I... Yes, you, sorry. Sorry. When this card is normal summoned, you can excavate the top three cards of your deck. And if you do, you can add one excavated Salaman Great card to your hand. Also shuffle the rest into the deck. This card... If this card is in your graveyard... Okay, so I just want to activate that. Um. So actually, this is actually a funny situation. In this case, you have two trigger effects going off at the same time, uh, so you you get to choose the order that they activate. Uh, so do you want, so keep in mind, uh, most cards can only negate the previous chain link. So which one of these do you want me to negate the least? Okay. This one is whichever one whichever one you don't want me to negate, you want to make a chain link one. Okay. If a monster is normal or special summoned to the zone, this card points to you can add one fire monster from your graveyard to your hand. Gazelle is a fire monster, and I want that back in my hand. Mm -hmm. And I only have one, so I want to use this one first. Yep, and then... And then activate trigger effect. You know what's funny? I didn't have a way to negate Sunlight Wolf, but I do have a way to negate Foxy. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. No, but you, th what you did was the correct decision. Was 100% the correct decision. It's just unfortunate in this particular situation. Okay. But I don't think I have... I don't want to chain that card, do I? I mean, it's up to you. I'm telling you, you don't. <laughs> okay. But there is one thing I could do, which would be really mean. I'm only going to be a little mean. I'm not going to be really mean. I'm only going to be a little mean. Plank, I don't think the 2,222 card deck is legal anymore. It isn't. Also, I'm loving Jim's Yu-Gi-Oh puns. Oh my god. Like, one day, uh, one day, dragon, you'll find that you, you slide on the scales of judgment, because when it comes to puns, I'm really a pot of greed. <laughs> to Karibos. 
<laughs> Jim. Jim. So, honey, you have the chance to activate something in response. Once again, I'm telling you, you don't want to activate yeah. in response. Target one monster in my in my graveyard and special summon it to your field. But its effects are negated. Okay. So I summon the Jack Jaguar I targeted, and then banish the Sunlight Wolf and Jack Jaguar. <laughs> okay. Now, they both still get their effects off, because car unless it says otherwise, cards don't have to be on the field in order to resolve. Okay. Just one success chain the card no. Okay. But I let's see. You So I don't think I want Balinx because Balinx just summons up a Salamangrate Sanctuary again. Okay. But what does summoning Balinx let you do instead? Oh. It lets you send Foxy to Grave, right? What right. happens if you send Foxy to Grave? I get to summon Jaguar. Gazelle, but yes. Or Gazelle. Bleh. Why, do I, why did I call it Jaguar? Because there's, you also have a Jaguar in hand. Oh, did... Oh, because you added it back. Oh, that's me telling you the wrong thing. I'm sorry. I forgot you can't summon Gazelle to turn you out of back with Sunlight Wolf. Uh, this is still fine, though. You do want the Balinx on the field because you want the Balinx in the grave. Because Balinx has an effect in grave, too. And Foxy also has an effect in grave, but because you activated the first effect, you can't activate the second effect. Uh, okay. This would be fine to end on. Another option would be to summon a bailing off of bailing to make your trap card even better but you actually don't mind having the jack jaguar in the grave right and since, since i banished the other one okay so right now i would just enter battle phase attack oh, for 500 i forgot oh. to enter that, that, I hit that, that's fine it's five it's 500 damage yeah oh that's a good card okay Oh, you have always chain on, so just hit, keep hitting no, because I'm telling you, you don't want to destroy these two cards. So I'm going to normal summon Surziel, Watcher of the Evil Eye. Uh, I'm going to activate the effect. At, so read the other trap card you have set. Target one face-up monster, negate its effect until the end of the turn. If this card was set before the active before activation and is on the field at resolution, for the rest of this turn, all other spell trap cards in this column are negated. Okay. So What's you... important is that you can negate Sir Zeal's effect. Yes. Okay. Now, right here, I'm going to try to equip Serzeal with this card. I forgot that was the Imperm column, but even then, that's fine. It's just negated for this turn. Okay. Uh, however, I want you to read Evil Eye of Selene. If I didn't fuck up, I want you to read Evil Call Eye of Selene. Call me to an Evil Eye monster. It cannot be destroyed by battle or your opponent's card effects. Also, your opponent oh, cannot target it with card effects okay. each time you so activate. If, if I didn't fuck it up, that, that's the only important part. If I didn't fuck it up, this you would no longer be able to destroy or target Serzeal. Okay. You, how can you make it... So, in, in response, you can do something, though. I can keep use... Mind this is a, yeah, keep in mind this is an equip card, so, so Serzeal has to stay on the field in order for it to do anything. I just use Rage. Yep. And what do you want to send to Grave for cost? Oh, I wanted to send this, didn't I? Uh, you wanted to send Jack Jaguar, but oh. yeah, but it's it's fine. 
Wait, Jack Honestly, Jaguar no. is still. I thought it's Jack in your hand. Oh, the other one is banned. I thought it had to be sent from my field. I didn't uh, realize. Yeah, I could... it, it's hand or field. It's fine. Okay. Like, it, it, you're learning. It's fine. Making mistakes is totally fine. Uh... Honey, don't freak out too much. But yeah, you want to destroy Cersei here. <sighs> and I pretty much lose. Because I watch you. I, I'm too good of a teacher, y'all. You just gave me a good deck. <laughs> I mean, my deck's also good. It's just my hand. These two cards literally do nothing. The two cards I have set, they don't do anything right now. Oh, right. You can activate Gazelle because you sent us out. That's yeah, but it's so also good. not letting me. Um, Why is it not letting you? I think I might... No? It's just it should... not letting me do anything. Uh, Right-click, maybe? There we okay. go. That was weird. That was weird. Um, so that's just another thing with Edo Pro. If you right click, you that's it. with a window up, it just lets you view everything on the field okay. without interacting with it. It's the graveyard, uh, which I want to so send you have my multiple traps options. to the graveyard, right? You can you can either send Roar or Falco. Both are good. Roar lets you add a, it just gives you another trap to add back with Sunlight Wolf. Falco gives you another body on the field if you wanted to do that. Okay. Because um... most most of the a lot of the Salamangrates can summon themselves out of the graveyard. Falco is one of them. Like you might have noticed, Spinny and Jack Jaguar both had effects like that. Yeah. Then I'm gonna go with Roar, I guess. That's totally fine. See you later, Jim. And it's still my turn, so I'm going so to... So far afield, yet Z shall not yield. Keep up the fight as I must escape. Thus, good night. <sighs> Honey, I literally can't do anything. <laughs> you, yeah, you, you, you're definitely winning this game. I don't okay. feel like I should be. <laughs> I could have completely stopped your plays turn one. Um, next, if we play, I want to play another one, but not go easy on you. Honey, I still don't understand what I'm doing. I know. <laughs> but did you go easy? How easy on me did you go and kill team? Uh, I used huh? a pretty bad army. It was mostly dice luck, and I was expecting the Grey Knights to be more powerful. I, I think they would have been more powerful if I knew anything of yeah. what I was doing. But yeah, so I'm just gonna. Uh, you, do you want me? Do you, do you want me to actually let you win yourself, or is it okay if I surrender? Uh, you can surrender if it's okay. Okay. Uh oh. Um, and then request a rematch. Yes. I'm going to go first this time, and I'm gonna fuck you up. Oh no. I have a bad hand. Uh, let me actually look at your hand. Oh yeah, your hand's pretty bad. Um, you still have a Lady Debug still gets you a Sunlight Wolf on field. Yeah. Uh, you want to Ash this, by the way. Activate Ash in response. Okay. Because this lets me draw two cards. Uh, draw two cards is the most broken effect in the game. Okay. That's actually not true, but it is really good. What did I banish off that? Did I banish all the important shit? I hope not. That would be I funny if you had. It. So I'm gonna normal summon Cerzeal. Activate the. Oh, you have an imperm in hand too, honey. That hand's actually really good. You can imperm the Cerzeal because you can activate imperm from hand if you control no cards. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm just going to equip Cerzeal with Selene. <sighs> Honey, I had a really good...
good hand, and then the two hand traps actually fucked me up. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh, and you drew another imperm for turn? You're too good at this game, honey. <laughs> no, I guess I believe in the heart of the cards. <sighs> Do you want me to still coach you through the combo at least a little bit, or do you think you got on your I should be okay? Okay, so I'll, I activate this effect. Uh, I do not want to chain. I want to grab Gazelle. There it is. Uh, then I want to... Is view not summon. Then I want to summon a Balanx. Then I want to activate Balanx's effect. <sighs> I said I wasn't going to go easy on you, didn't I? You did. I'm going to activate Zerzeal, targeting Balinx. You do still have the Gazelle in hand, so you have something to do. Yes, I can activate Gazelle. How much do you have to do, though? Uh, not much, honestly. You can set up the so uh, you want to you do want to send something to the grave. You always want to send something yes. to the grave with, gaz with gazelle. Uh, I think in this case you really want to send a monster. Probably yeah, Jack. Oh, if you send Jack Jaguar, actually you still have combo. Yeah. <sighs> Fuck. Then. Yeah. Uh. What is it? Uh, if you control Solomon Great Link monster while this is in my graveyard, I can. Okay. You don't control a Link monster yet, but I can. you have a Gazelle on field. Yep. Uh, you just won't end this turn with a Gazelle in hand. Yeah. <sighs> so I want to. I assume I want to bring out Bay Lynx. Yep. Because I want the Salaman great. Now. Which card are you going to return with Jack Jaguar? Uh, I should return Gazelle? No, because I want Gazelle in my... I want Gazelle in my hand, not in my deck. Yep, so... Uh, you I, only have one other Salamangrate monster. Right, I want to send Balanx. Oh, wait. I have to... I, oh, I was activate and then activate jack jaguar sorry i've not been paying attention to chat uh can, can chat coach next round honestly i don't oh i could be mean <sighs> do i be mean here or mean later i should have to be mean here i don't have a choice oh god uh with your hand, do you have stuff to do next turn? No. Yeah, if I'm mean right now, you lose. <sighs> do you are you do you want me to give you a chance or not? I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a chance. Okay. I'll be mean later. Oh, thanks for the twenty-five bucks, Jim. This oh, this shit, is the curtain Jim. call. What As all fuck? things must fall, my GF wanted to claim she loves you both and your games. And the donation, because why not? And you give everything your best shot. Good night, good luck, thanks for the fish. <laughs> thanks for all the fish. And now you have two monsters to make Sunlight Wolf. Now, with and. If you read Roar, it actually doesn't have another effect if you control a Salamangrate monster that was made with uh, one with its own name. 
Okay. So you actually don't need to summon the Sunlight Wolf with the Sunlight Wolf in this case. Okay, so Cause this... Because you... Uh, you don't have any Salamagre spells or traps in Grave, and it, with Roar it doesn't matter. So okay. you can just set Roar, set Imperm, and pass. Because you can't attack over my Surf Seal, because that's too much attack. Yep. Uh... So is the book way better, better than movie? Yes! The Hitchhiker's Guide movie is not good. If you it, want a visual... If you want a visual so version of the Hitchhiker's good. Guide, there is a really good BBC TV series. That said, because of, because of Douglas Adams, every single Hitchhiker's Guide version contradicts the others thoroughly. So, honey... If you read Salaman Great Roar, it lets you negate the activation of a spell trap card or monster effect. Um, don't negate this effect, though. Oh. Okay. Because this effect is actually bad for me. The, how the evil eyes work is that I can do something on your turn, but during the I, that 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 screws you over. But during the next during the next standby phase, I have to do something that screws me over. Okay. Like that. Yep. Huh. Also, the radio the radio on. series is really good. Uh, so fun fact about the Hitchhiker's Guide radio series. Sorry. Um. Douglas Adams, when the Hitchhiker's Guide radio series was being released, I'm going to use... Uh, I do want to chain. I would like to use... Uh, I, think I, I think I want to use my hand spell here, right? Um, you keep, so... I know. I, can, I think I can also it, use impermanence. All, all, all three of all three of them have merit. But keep in mind, if you use roar here, you can still recur it with with sunlight wolf next turn. So if things go perfectly, that would be your best option. But you can also do either of the other two in case things don't go perfectly. Yeah. Like they all three of them have merit. Uh, and fortunately for you, in this case, you're not getting punished off that. Mm hmm. Um, yeah, I have uh, moderate hopes for the next for the, for the new Matrix movie. So, Bailing has a graveyard effect that lets you make it so that if a Salamander card you control is going to be destroyed, you can banish it from the grave instead. You want to keep the Sunlight Wolf on the field in this case, so chain a card. Wait, actually, do Wait. you have Bailings in the grave? Uh, no, you don't want to chain a card. Okay. I, I can't look at my graveyard because... Oh, right-click. Yeah, oh. no. You, you oh, didn't wait. have a bailing. I do have oh. a bailing. Do you want to use Salamangrate Bailings' effect to avoid destruction? Yes. Wait, what? It had a pop-up saying, do I want to use Bailings' effect to avoid destruction? But it got destroyed anyway. It why got destroyed that... and now it's Why 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 did the pop up it... appear too late? I don't know. Man, this game sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? You got scammed. What the fuck? I'm sorry, honey. Eh. I still don't understand any of what's going on. You understand it a little bit, honey. I understand. You're, uh... you're doing better than everyone else that I've tried to teach you, Gio, honestly. <laughs> Why am I doing this to myself? Because this was the exchange for teaching Kelly Kill Team. Honest okay, I think I'm satisfied with myself. If you want to stop at any point, go, uh, go ahead. I'll go to go the ahead, end of this it. game. Okay. Or at least I'll try. 
Let's see what you top deck. Maybe you'll come back. Will of the Salaman, great. That fucking broken as fuck. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I draw one card, chain another card. Honey, no. you're too good at this game. During your main what phase, you can special summon a Salaman great card from your hand or graveyard. You can send this face up card from the field to the graveyard, then target one Salaman great link monster you control. I can do this with. I can do this with Sunlight Wolf, can't I? You could if you had Sunlight Wolf on the field. Oh, wait. No, because it summons in defense. Okay, something about link monster. They have no defense mode? Defense. Okay. Uh, but wait, actually, wait, the first effect, you can't do it with something. Well, wait, no, this, oh, god damn it, honey, you are too good at this game. <laughs> yes, you can act. so you want to activate Will the Sound Man, great, and, res and special summon the Sunlight Wolf, and then make another Sunlight Wolf with the Sunlight Wolf. Oh my god, that was the best top deck possible, honey, you don't, god. Hey, <laughs> what? I... Okay, I can actually delay this. I can actually delay this for a turn. This doesn't stop you completely, because you're not going to die next turn, unless I top deck like a maniac. Uh, like you just wait, did. Wait, hold on. I can... Can I... Imperm only does cards on the field. <laughs> this is activating in my hand. Uh... Uh, my card... Includes... Okay. Gotcha. Okay, I'm delaying this for one turn. I have I ha I have to top deck half as well as you did, or not e not even half as well as you did, like as well as you did right here to OTK okay. you. <laughs> Otherwise, you're winning this game. <laughs> God damn it! How? Oh, that's really good. So Is this is enough? basically Beyblade. I mean, with the amount of pure luck that I'm having, yes. <laughs> Wait, my, this top deck might be good enough. I don't think I'm OTKing you, but... Oh, wait. No, you have Ash Blossom. So you can either Ash this or Ash the field spell that I search. So either way, fuck. So Ash negates things that interact with the deck, terraforming as a field spell from my deck to my hand. <sighs> Battle phase. I'm going to get punched. But you still have so many life points left. I do. Yes, Joshua, like, seriously, Z, you're doing so well. I'm not even fucking joking. You're under- You you're, you're, built this deck! I built the deck, but, like, I taught you the combo <laughs> once, and you needed, like, a few hints after that. Okay, Parallel Exceed. What does this do? If this card is special summoned by the effect of Parallel Exceed, you it's Parallel Exceed. Exceed. <laughs> Effect parallel exceed its level becomes four and its original attack defense become halved. You can only use each of the following effects of parallel exceed once per turn. Better question is what did it cost me? That's a good point. Um, so, honey, you can OTK me this turn. I'm not going to tell you how, but I'm just going to tell you you can. I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, okay, I still want a Will of the Salamangrate to bring one of my Salamangrate monsters uh, to sum to special summon one of my Salamangrate monsters. What? Yep. I okay. Which one do I want? I've already got this, so I don't want it to be Balanx. 
Do I want Gazelle or do I want Sunlight Wolf? So, do you want me to answer that question or do you want to see if you can figure it out yourself? Uh, let me try and figure it out for myself, and then you tell me if it's right or wrong. Okay. Okay. If a salamandrite monster is sent to your graveyard, monster except monster. Gazelle, you can special summon this card from your hand. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can send one salamandrite card from your deck to your graveyard. You can only use each effect once per turn. But I don't have another... I don't have a second Salamangrate to use. Well, you do have the Jack Jaguar, but... But the Jaguar is already in my graveyard. Yeah, the Sunlight Wolf's already in your grave. You might as well summon it. Yeah. Because so, right now your goal is to make Sunlight Wolf. Yes. So I was about to go, so so Sunlight Wolf would be the correct answer. So when you summon a Link, when you summon a Link monster from the grave, it actually d doesn't go into the extra monster zone. It goes to the main, one of the main monster zones. Okay. It, it's a kind of weird. If something something from summoned from the extra deck, it can go in the extra monster zone. Okay. Now. I should have put it. Nah, uh, it. It doesn't matter. It actually doesn't matter. I want to use Salamangrate Sanctuary. Yep. I want to create another Sunlight Wolf. Yep. And then you can activate Parallel Exceed in hand. <laughs> ah. Do I want to activate the trigger of Salamangrate Roar from my... Do I? You could actually. That actually wouldn't be. No, you can just get it for free instead. So no. Okay. Oh, fuck! I but hit no by mistake. Oh well, honestly, it's still fine. You can still OTK me. Uh, so how? You can add the roar back. Okay. By just activating the sunlight wolf right now. So you, when you add the roar back, you now have a negate. Okay. For my, actually, wait, can you OTK me without Parallel Exceed? Yes, you can, because you can just activate Parallel Exceed later. So now, do you, so, okay. Uh, you probably know what to do now. Let me save this one. Um... I, I, I will tell you what to do after this step, because you don't know this combo. But this step is, you know, you know what to do. Yeah, this one, I want to use Jack Jaguar, right? And then I want to put Sunlight you, okay. Wolf back in? Yes, you want to put Sunlight Wolf back in. And then I want to play Jack Jaguar here because it'll uh, activate the other effect from Sunlight Wolf. Which, let me just reread that because I can't remember it yet. Uh, if, if you control this card. Y'all, I'm getting OTK'd by my girlfriend on her first day of playing this game. Uh, if a monster, you can add one fire monster from your graveyard to your hand, but for the rest of the turn, you cannot normal, normal summon set or special summon monsters with the added monster's name. Okay. So I want to bring Salaman Great Gazelle back to my hand. Okay, now this part of the combo you don't know. Okay. This, this is another important combo with Salaman Great. It's making access code with Update Jammer. So with these two monsters, you want to make Heat Leo. Or Nightmare Unicorn. Either one would be fine. I don't know if I put Unicorn in your extra deck, though. I, let's see, I've got... Let me say... Uh, no. Okay, then yeah, make Heat Leo. Now, when you summon a Link monster, you can summon Parallel Exceed from your hand. So you want to activate that effect. When it tells you you're able to. I hit no again because I keep thinking that it's the... Okay, honey, uh... it's still fine. You're still winning this fucking game. I'm not even... I'm like... such a... F <sighs> honey, hey. 
No. You're I... still learning, and and this program sucks. I'm it's... I'm gonna be the first like. It, I it's keep thinking that it's. I keep thinking that it's asking if I want to use infinite impermanence, which I know I don't want to use. Mm -hmm. oh. I completely understand. This program sucks. <laughs> uh, but you might notice Heatleo's bigger than Serzial, so just enter battle phase. Once again, I have to top deck like. And, no, you you have a roar set. Wait, so what? I don't. You, so yeah, after, after, I I I can't win this at all. Just saying, there's literally no chance I win this if you activate any effect. Anyway, yeah, let let the attack go through. <laughs> yeah, always chain is kind of annoying, but I, when you're first learning, it's it's best better to have it on because you don't know exactly when to when you want to chain and when you don't. Actually forgot to place roar. Well, no, you 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 do want to set your spells and traps in main phase too. Okay. As a general rule. <sighs> I still feel like an idiot. <laughs> it's okay, honey. This is the worst top deck I could have gotten. Wait, 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 people are talking about Kids Next Door? Oh, Codename Kids Next Door is so good. Holy fuck, it was great. I really wish that Cartoon Network had taken them up on their offer of Galactic Kids Next Door. Oh my god. You saw that, right? No, I didn't. It was oh, yeah. like a storyboard YouTube thing that was put up like two or three years ago now, and all of the original voice actors came back and were really hoping that it would actually get picked up. Uh, and they gave the pitch to Cartoon Network, and they and Cartoon Network's reply was that they never wanted to do a Kids Next Door series again. Oh, but like I'm gonna after this, I am going to show you um, the Galactic K and D thing because holy fuck, it was so cool. Okay, um, so honey, uh, I'm gonna tell you what you want, what your goal is right now. Okay. So your goal is to get Heat Leo and two other monsters on board. Okay. Uh, two other two other cybers monsters specifically. Like you might notice the cybers type. Yes. You want two other cybers monsters specifically. Right. Okay, so I can use Jack Jaguar again. I'm assuming I want to do that to bring Sunlight Wolf back. You could. That is an option. Yep. Okay. I just want you to find a way to get two cybers it's really easy to get two cyber sponsors on and the field right now you have like multiple ways to do it that means that salaman great gazelle gets played again uh i think salaman gazelle only works if a salaman gets sent to no. grave but okay. you can just normal summon gazelle okay because for, for whatever reason right oh right jack jaguar is coming back i was wondering why i placed that there because that is one of the directed spots. Um, Ice Link summoned. Um, once per turn during your main phase, if this card was Link summoned using Salamander Great Helio as material, you can target one face up monster on your field and one in your graveyard, and their attack becomes equal to the other targets. And I will tell you that card, that effect of Helio, is really good. You're not using it to kill me. Okay. Uh, you can, right now if you just normal summon Gazelle and dead, and I'll tell you how to do it because oh. this comp was really important for Salamander. Great. Okay. Okay. Now, using Gazelle and you could you could have activated Gazelle there, but honestly, you don't need to. Uh, no, I haven't. An, it, it's now it's asking if I want to activate oh. Gazelle. Okay. Um, in an actual game, you would want to. I'm telling you right now, you don't need to though. Okay, I do want to play well then. Okay, uh, probably Falco or Foxy would be best. Falco. Okay, now using Jack Jaguar and and Gazelle. Okay. Go into a card. Go into a Link monster called Update Jammer.
update jammer. Gazelle, Jack Jaguar. Oh, and it's not going into yeah, this. It, it, it has to oh, go right, to a because zone. It, it's, point it's going to a zone. Right. Now, update jammer. If update jammer is used to make a link uh, to make a link monster, okay. Uh, it can attack twice. So now you want to use Helio and Update Jammer to make a card called Access Code Talker. Oh, I can also summon. You could summon Parallel Exceed. That is not a bad idea. You have to summon to his own Update Jammer points too, which is that one. Yep. And then that lets you summon another one from the deck if you wanted, which you do normally want to. Yep. Now, if you want to make sure I'm really dead. Oh, I just realized, wait, am I actually dead? Shit. No, I am actually dead. Never mind. So now I want to go into my extra deck again, right? Uh, make. Wait a minute. I'm not dead, actually. <laughs> Honey, can you. Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. it's okay. I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm I'm being, look, I know you're to be, you're trying to figure there's, out there's, if you can survive. There's a, way, there's a way for you to kill me. There's 100% a way for you okay. to kill me. Uh, so what's the thing I'm supposed yes. to do? So you can. So you want to do two things right now. You want to go into Access Code Talker using Update Jammer and Heat Leo. And make sure you activate Update Jammer's effect after you do that. And, and Access Code's effect. Update Jammer and Heat Leo... Wait, do I need another? No, uh, right click after that. Oh. Um, it wants it wants to use four monsters, but Update Jammer and Heat Leo do meet the conditions. Now you want to update, okay. activate both Update Jammer and Access Code here. Yeah. Let's see. No effect can be activated at the moment. Do you want to check the field? Uh, this is this is the summon negation window, so say no. Okay. Activate effect. Yes. Yes. Uh. You want, okay, you want, in this case, access code talkers effects can't be responded to, so you actually want it to be chain link too. You actually do, you did it correctly accidentally, congratulations. Okay. And then select. Uh, select the higher link rating because access code talker gains, gains attack equal to, like equal to the link rating times a thousand of the card you're targeting. Oh. It's, it's a big boy and it attacks twice. Now I'm going to tell you right now, before you, you can activate access code talker's effect right now to destroy the monster I control. Mm -hmm. um, um, before you do that, use par the parallel exceed, use the, use the um, par parallel exceeds to make a fist dweller, okay. which is the XC's monster you, you have in your extra deck, which is the black one. Now, since Abyss dweller is not a link monster, it doesn't have to be summoned to the zone access code points to. Now you want to activate Abyss Dweller's effect. Uh, when, when you're allowed to, whenever that is. Okay, so special summon success, chain another card, but it's you could it, you it's, could right it's now highlighting you Abyss Dweller, so I'm assuming it means Abyss Dweller is the other card. Um, Abyss Dweller can activate right now because it's a spell speed two effect, and it's right now we're responding to the summon of Abyss Dweller, so. This is the earliest possible time you could activate Abyss Dweller, although it doesn't really matter whether you activate it now okay. or later. And then I wanted, I guess, targeting the... Yeah. 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 So how Xyz monsters activate their effects is they detach the materials that you used to use their effect. So these two parallel Xyz are currently under Abyss Dweller, so detach one of them. And when now you want to activate Access Code. So access code, access code's effect. You banish a link monster from your graveyard to destroy a mon to destroy a card I control. Okay, I guess Phalanx is probably the least important. One. Um, update jammer is the least update important. Jammer is the least important one. Phalanx is actually the most important one. <laughs> okay. And now you just attack directly twice with access code and you win. 
Oh. Because you can attack directly twice because update jammer. Oh my god, there's a... There's a fucking smoke detector that's low on battery. I'm sorry, I'm gonna mute myself actually while that's happening. Okay. The music changed, I think, because of how close Kelly is to losing. Yeah, that's why. <sighs> Salamangre is too good, y'all. Oh yeah, Axis Code Talker is the new hot Link 4. It gets big and it can nuke fields. It's really stupid. God damn it. I'm, can you hear that? I'm sorry if you can hear that. Uh, sometimes, but it's hardly coming through. Okay, is that do you, is that the last game you want to play tonight, or do you, do you want to actually see what my deck can do? Hopefully, I won't break this time. <sighs> sure. I'll, I'll go one more round. I, okay, I, I I just want to show what this deck can do because oh, it's really cool. Oh, uh, what, honey? That hand is almost really good. Okay. Actually, no, that hand is really good. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Lady Debug sign up mining is broken. Um, so I respectfully ask you to not activate Ash Blossom. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Actually, this hand kind of sucks. Activate Ash Blossom. No. No, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I am teasing um, you. Actually, what's the best line of play here? I'm gonna turn off always chain because it's mostly fucking with me. Fair enough. You can all you can click ignore chain to do to ignore chaining instead. I I'm what's mostly fucking with me is it constantly popping up every single time something happens. Fair enough. Good night, Dragon Spartan. Well, okay, this actually isn't the combo I wanted to show you, but it's still fun. So, this is like the worst case scenario combo, uh, because this lets me. Serzial lets me pop a, a special summon monster you control, and then during my standby phase, I have to destroy a card I control. Uh, if the unchained cards are destroyed, I can summon another one from the deck. Mm. So it's like, uh, it's like end phase. If you summon, if you special summon something, so like I don't know, just normal summon Lady Debug and make a Baylinks or something. It's not that wouldn't be the ideal time for me to. For me to use it but i just want to demonstrate it i think your hand is broken enough that you would win this if played optimally i just wanted to show you to show you this deck because it's cool and i also wanted to show show chat this deck okay okay joshua i'm playing a horrible deck so i don't want to fucking hear it <laughs> This, this deck sucks. It bricks all the fucking time. But when it doesn't brick, it's super fun. Okay, now I politely ask you to end your turn. <laughs> Instead of, Instead doing of okay. Instead of uh, easily stopping you Instead from doing everything winning. right there. Yes, instead of easily winning right now. God damn it, fucking smoke alarm. I'm, I'm just hearing Ooh. tiny blips every once in a while. It's fine. Uh, this is Evil Eye Unchained, Joshua. I don't like Pure Unchained. It's kind of boring. But yeah. Yeah, Kelly is the Yu-Gi-Oh nerd, and she is much, much better than me. Uh, I don't know which one of these should actually be discarded. Oh, oh, oh right, because hand size limit is six. Um, it doesn't matter because I'm just I'm just You're doing just this to demonstrate the combo. Yeah. So now I have to activate Serzeal. <sighs> That's so annoying. So I will pop Aruha. And Aruha activates. Letting me summon 
a big a big doggo from the deck. I'm not joking. It's just a big dog. Uh, Joshua says they play live uh, live twin unchained. Oh, uh, live twin unchained is really good. Yeah. Live twin, the VTuber archetype. See, look, wait, look, 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 doggo. It's it's a doggo. The the soul of disaster. Yeah. Oh, it is. It's a dog. Um. What can I do from here? You know what? I don't care. That's that's basically all I wanted to show. So okay. yeah, I don't. Yeah. Okay. Let's okay. let's just stop right here because clearly. I think that's enough for today. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, one of the one of the things, um, like, I I know you tried to uh, you tried to help me pick a deck based on what kind of magic decks I played, but the problem is that the types of magic decks I played were not like I specifically played because they didn't focus on combos. Okay, because uh, well, combos sound like it's don't. A the the thing with Yu-Gi-Oh is every deck has some kind every deck does ha like has some kind of yeah combo. which um i can't Fuck remember said, yeah. combos so I, I i try to avoid like i play um i mean i play kill team with all of my tactics in a and the rules in a window open next to me so that I can remember everything that I can do. Yeah. Even the things that I intend to do every game, because otherwise I will forget that they exist. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that that's kind of the thing about Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, you either like it because it doesn't have a mana system, or you really hate it because it doesn't have a mana system. It's not the lack of mana system I don't like, it's just that everything is combos. The thing is, the lack of mana system is what leads to everything being combos, because you have, because you have a, you don't, you no longer have a resource they need to keep track of that every other card game need, makes you keep track of. I guess? I, I, I don't know. So, like, because you don't have, when I deck, like, frogs, fro frogs is pretty simple. But the thing is, like, in any Yu-Gi-Oh deck past turn one, the combos, like, the combos start showing up. Tactics equal more DACA. Exactly, Relics! Okay, yeah, so you might actually like control decks a little more in Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, mm. Salamangre, Salamangre's a decent mid-range deck. Like, it has a little bit of combo, a little bit of control elements, and it has a lot of recursion. Uh, but yeah. Mm. If you want a deck where you don't have to keep track of everything and know a lot about what your deck can do, First off, that comes with experience, so I don't expect you to get it instantly. But secondly, yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh is not the game for you. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, basically, the the, the 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 decks I like in Magic: The Gathering are all um, I have div <laughs> I have I have <laughs> used I have used three cards, and now every time something happens, I get another token. What is my strategy? Hit you with as many tokens as I can. Uh, Mystic Mind might not be a bad choice, but also if uh, if Z ever plays Mystic Mind, I will have to break up with her. <laughs> what is Mystic Mind? <sighs> God. So Mystic Mind says... If your opponent controls more, if, well, if either player controls more monsters than the other, they cannot attack or activate monster effects. Period. Okay. So what the Mystic Mind decks do is you activate Myst, is you wait for your opponent to summon a monster, you activate Mystic Mind, and then you don't summon any monsters and burn them to the death, or draw into Exodia, or mill, do whatever. It doesn't matter. Your goal is to just stall and get to some kind of win condition. Oh, so it's Second Sunrise. No, uh, I would deserve to be broken up with. Uh, have you ever been a, 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 a fucking 13-year-old who just made the mistake of signing up for a uh, legacy Magic the Gathering tournament and ran into someone running an OG Second Sunrise deck? Uh, uh -huh. 
if you don't know what that does for 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 people in the chat second sunrise is the deck where turn two takes 40 minutes does no damage and waits for your opponent to surrender so they can go home that isn't a joke so xanthos actually made a good point that actually might be a good idea to play goat format um so goat format is the name of the format in like 2003 2000 or 2005 one of those it's uh usually it's goes up to the set before cyber dragon was released and it's pretty much all just like uh normal summon activate some spells normal summon blah 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 mm. um it's actually and actually um 2004 2005 okay yeah uh and actually it's fun it's actually kind of funny because the, the the deck that goat format is named after goat control is no longer the the main like the best deck like even close to being the best deck in goat control in goat format <laughs> but like it was just the deck that was played at the time yeah uh and every single deck at the time was really bad because people just played like one copies of really good cards that weren't on the limited list yet okay so it it does have a slightly different rule set because it has priority and uh first turn draw so yeah it does have a slightly different rule set but it's not th those are like just minor yeah chaos warrior is the best deck actually i don't think it's even chaos warrior it's just warrior toolbox I like would chaos I would like try to teach you Magic the Gathering, but um I don't I, I never really kept up on uh what the better decks stayed and <sighs> I am personally in the camp of I have the most fun playing modern. Modern is one of the less fun formats for new players. I have learned Magic the Gathering, okay. and I don't like it. No. I don't like bricking with lands. That's fair. Well, that's part of uh, that's part of why I'm really excited that's for that one card. Part game of why they've got like um, promo. they've got like six different Mulligan rules to prevent that from happening now, and they usually work. <laughs> well, I, I there's um, a lot of variety in Goat format, despite yeah. the best the deck. Yeah. I yeah, would say that that is part of the issue with goat format because like enough of the really broken cards were still not banned enough, or still, still not banned that like half the deck is the same no matter what deck you play. Hmm. But, yeah, I would say you'd probably enjoy a ramp. You'd actually probably enjoy a ramp deck in Magic. I would, yes. Um, but actually, um, there's very soon actually there's a new card game coming out that made by a person that i'm following on youtube which i talked about the other day mm -hmm. so some, some people in chat might have already heard this before but it looks like we have some new people uh but it's called chroma and it's basically like the mana system is a combination of the colors in magic and the one mana per turn in hearthstone and all of the cards are free to play like you download the game and you have access to every single card. Oh, it comes oh, it comes out in 8 days. Yeah, 8 days, yeah. Chroma Bloom and Blight. This looks fun. It does look really fun and so what you're yeah. saying is that so what you're saying is uh we're becoming a Chroma streaming couple. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so Xanthos actually there the new trailer isn't out yet. And the new trailer, there is a current trailer, but it's more of a cinematic trailer instead of a gameplay trailer. And I'm pretty sure the new trailer isn't out yet. Let me see if it is. Uh, yes, Black Lotus is still the most valuable card in Magic the Gathering. However, it is banned in every single format. Um, it's only the most valuable because it's really fucking rare to find original versions. Um, Kelly, did I ever tell you the story of the... Um, did I ever tell you the story of the first of the of the uh the fairly recent MTG first edition draft? Uh no you haven't. 
uh this was within the last six ish years so a uh, group in i want to say it was a group in japan decide found a whole bunch of original mtg booster packs and they were like you know what fuck it most of these cards aren't super valuable they've been reprinted a dozen times they're like not legal in any form or they're not legal in any format like there's technically the chance that some of these cards are going to be super valuable, but the actual chance of that happening is like a million to one. But, you know, they set up this draft tournament and it's a fairly high profile. They make it a fairly high profile thing, you know, opening up these really old packs. And so the tournament starts and they open the packs and one of them has a fucking black lotus. That's fucking wild. <laughs> and black black lotus uh recently went a, a, a mint edition black lotus recently went for a hundred and sixty six thousand dollars. Sounds about right. Yeah, the, in the cinematic trailer, there's a little bit of gameplay shown, but so out of date that it looks so really bad compared to how it looks now. But I will still send I will still send you the Chroma trailer, and if you want to play it on stream, go ahead. But yeah, if you look up Chroma on Steam, Chroma Bloom and Blight. Yeah, there's a uh, bunch of you can, images. You can see some, but they do you can see some gameplay screenshots of how it looks so much better than how it will look in this trailer. Yeah. <laughs> It looks good. It has the wonderful, fairly flat field look that I am uh, that I am comfortable with from Magic. Although I am uh, I am not a fan of limited creature slots because that means I can't token spam, <laughs> uh, which is th the best strategy. But yeah, like Candy. you can see, I'm just you, can going see to show... you can see you can see the mana curves on the side, like yeah. uh how you ch like you get one man like an like one more mana each turn, like in Hearthstone, but it's colored like in magic. Mm -hmm. Uh you have you have like different heroes you can play as, like similar to Hearthstone, but like each each hero has three abilities that you uh instead of just one like in Hearthstone. Um and yeah yeah the lore of Yu-Gi-Oh cards um, uh also chris what? i'm just that... going to show the trailer to kelly because it is still copyrighted and it is someone else's work i do not want to be showing that on stream uh wait, go wait, look it up wait, but it's what? just on youtube it's just on youtube but uh, like uh chris chris is asking if i'll put the you if i'll put the galactic knd thing on stream uh -huh. and like I don't feel right doing that. Um, Fair enough. I think anyone who wants to look it up can just go type it in on YouTube. It is freely available, but like, give the views to the people who own it. <laughs> but you yeah, know, Cro Chrome is going to be one hundred percent free to play. Uh, any money you spend is going to go toward cosmetics. It's really cool. Yeah, uh, Galactic Kids Next Door is what it's called. Galactic Kids Next Door. It's really cool. They actually hosted a tournament just last weekend. I can send you the video of the top bait for the tournament. Yeah. Uh, actually, I'll send it to your server. That is a good idea. In the TCGs tab. That's the tournament. Uh, I'll also send the trailer. I wish there was a, like, a... a decent way of playing magic the gathering online because right now there's like arena and there's mtg online um arena is very hearthstone like and it's fun but requires either quite a bit of money being spent or ludicrous amounts of time being spent on the game or both to keep up with And online, to my knowledge, is just very limited, and I think it... 
Is online the one that like re-releases constant? No, I'm thinking of a different one. Um, online is also kind of like free to play, but you also it, it or it's a free download, but then it's ten bucks to actually register, and then you have to buy booster packs online, like you would normally for the physical card game. Um, which is a little bleh. I tried Poke Pokemon's a little too random for my taste. I know like all the all the all the coin all the coin flips and hey stuff like that. hey, do you remember Chaotic? What do you mean? <laughs> the 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 other Saturday morning cartoon that tried to be a card game. I don't know this. Wait, you, uh, I'm just gonna say you you don't remember Chaotic. The series was actually no. decent. It was kind of an isekai too. Yeah, th there there's a reason that random cards didn't really take off in Yu-Gi-Oh. Outside of in Duel Links, Duel Links random cards are actually one of the best decks right now. Coin flip cards. This is just... How... How did you not have any association with Chaotic? I've never seen this before in my what? life. What? How? Chaotic was good. The show was good. The cards were sold, but not to... The, the cards were sold, and I, I remember people playing it and talking about it being fun, but also it was kind of hard to actually find anyone who sold the, enough to build who sold like decks and not just booster packs um so it was hard to get into just trying to find it wait was this the card game wait what was the card game where you were own where like you had to buy decks like pre-made decks and you literally couldn't combine decks like the decks together if you got a deck if you wanted to play in a tournament you had to play the random deck you got what was that card game uh and it was like real that like that that business model was just so awful because like people would just end up it's like the opposite of like because like the goal of that was just to be like oh anyone can just go like grab a deck and start playing it's gonna be the same amount for everyone but really key forge oh yeah key forge uh joshua's saying vanguard Va no van vanguard's actually good <laughs> <laughs> oh really fit really fantasy flight made key forge or is this something different? No, this is Keyforge Mass Mutation. Unless that's yeah, just the like, full title of it. It's just so bad because, like, the theory behind it was just like, oh, people will just go buy a deck and then just go to a tournament. But, like, really, if you allow the third market to still exist, people are just going to sell their, like, any really good deck they pull online for, like, a, a ton of money. If, if it picked up at all, it didn't. Yeah. But... Uh. Uh. Chaotic was like I'm. I'm looking up at it. Yeah. Uh. Chaotic decks were. Each player constructs the deck they want to use before starting. A deck may contain a number of creature cards with one Mugic and one Battle Gear per creature. Um. The most common creature configurations were one, three, six, or ten creatures per player. The objective is to eliminate all the creatures of the opposing player. So it didn't use a health system. It was focused on killing the enemy's guys instead of targeting the opponent. It was... I only remember the... I only really had association with the show, which was people who played the online 
game version of chaotic getting sucked into the world and then use it and then actually meeting their creature cards as people and using their decks to keep them alive and all the deck boxes were all the deck boxes every single deck came with a good metal deck box that was modeled after the scanners from the game or from the show and it was really cool anyway i think that that's basically everything for tonight um i don't know if there's yeah probably I, I can't think of anything else i want to talk yeah. about yeah Okay. And I should probably go to bed soon anyway. Yep. Uh, have a good night, everyone. Thanks for joining the stream and watching me flail around attempting Yu-Gi-Oh! Hey, uh, you beat me twice. <laughs> apparently. Um, yeah. See you later, everyone.